Hey guys, it's Yvette and I have the latest box from the Ginger Quilter and I know she changed the name of the box. Um, I think she was, she was calling it, okay, she changed the name of the box. So let me get it open. I've been so excited to open this because it is her Halloween um, box and y'all know me in Halloween. <laughs> I love it. So let's get it open. And if you are not already subscribed, won't you consider doing so? I'd sure appreciate it. And I have a lot of fun here and I try to keep you entertained. I have uh, unboxings that I do, but I also have some quilt alongs and tutorials and other fun stuff. And you never know when I'm gonna give something away. So that's, the, oh my goodness. Okay, so here you go. We open it up, bada bing, it's got like, <laughs> The black and white stripe. It's got like a little um, skull sticker, which is cute. And oh my goodness. Okay. So let me see. What does it say? It doesn't say. Um, this is a coupon code for Cluck Cluck So. And that's exciting. I like Cluck Cluck So. So I'm going to go and check that out. Let me put this coupon over here so that I don't lose it. Uh, we have a little piece of candy here. Oh, it's not candy. <laughs> Thank God I looked closer. It is a bath bomb. <laughs> it is a Snazzy Bombs. It's by Snazzy Bombs. And it is a ghost bath bomb. Snazzybombs at gmail.com. Here's the little tag on it. And it is a little bomb in the shape of a ghost. Isn't that cute? <laughs> I thought it was a marshmallow until I picked it up and it, oh, kind of feels like a marshmallow too. Okay, so I'm gonna scooch that over. Um, we have a magnifying glass on a seam ripper. What, it, what does that do? doesn't do anything oh okay it probably doesn't do anything because it's a it's probably a flashlight is what I'm thinking because you pull this out and it activates the battery and then it would turn on um just in case I'm gonna give it away I'm not gonna pull the tag out that way whoever gets it can you know use it to its fullest um but this will come off well, it will if you really want it to, but you can pull this back or pull it forward and this does come off of here. It's trying to show me up is what it's doing. <clears throat> okay, see, because it's got a little thing and it does actually come off if you want to take it off, um, but then boop, pops right back on. Okay, um, so that's what that is. That's actually like a cool little gadget. I try really hard not to ever use my seam ripper, so <laughs> a lot of times if I make a mistake, I just leave it in. <laughs> Depends on what it is, obviously, but you know, anyway. Um, so that's kind of a neat thing. And then we have a card that says October 31. I'm assuming it's like for us to use. I mean, it's all sealed up. So I'm, I'm thinking this is a card that we can use um, to give away. Okay. Um, and then we have, okay. So we have like, it looks like sort of a, uh, layer cake. Um, and she probably cut the fabric for us. That's what it looks like. Um, Okay, and the fabric is, I'm not sure what, I mean, it looks familiar. It, I think I actually just bought some of this. Um, and there's no, there's no card in here saying what everything is. Um, okay, I don't know off the top of my head what the fabric is, but I recognize it. It's, oh, what's it called? I know exactly, I, I know I just bought some today. Um, it's Halloween fabric and I'm going to show it to you. I I'm sitting here and I'm, I'm going on and on about the fabric and you have no clue what I'm talking about. I apologize. I truly do. 
my one suggestion to Ginger Quilter is to put in a list of what's inside so that we can like know what's inside, <laughs> especially like, um, so we know what the fabric is. Okay, so, but that's that's just a small thing. It's a small thing and it's just a suggestion. This is only like her third box, guys. She just started this box. So, you know, I know if it were me, I would want people to kind of, you know, give me a little bit of feedback. And my feedback would be just have a list in there and kind of tell what the fabric is since it's not a factory cut um, package. So she cut these and it looks like they're 10 inch squares. I'm going with, it's probably 10 inch squares. Um, and I love how she tied it with like a little bit of, um, Halloween fabric as well. That's super cute. I love Halloween. You, you really, it doesn't take much. So this pattern is from Cluck Cluck Sew. It is, uh, called Brightly and I could see this or I would love to see this in Halloween fabric. I mean, first of all, Halloween fabric. Need I say anything more? <laughs> it is a layer cake or fat quarter quilt. And you guys, check it out. Each block, uh, it says on here that the finished blocks are 12 inch square. And um, the finished quilt is 60 inches by 72 inches. And as far as fabric goes, you would need, um, in your print fabrics, you need 42 pre-cut 10 inch squares or 13 fat quarters. Um, in background, you will need two and a half yards. For backing, you'll need four yards. And for your binding, you'll need a half a yard. And this particular quilt that you're looking at, the one, the sample that was made, um, was made with Backyard Blooms. I'm assuming it's by Cluck Cluck Sew um, for Wyndham Fabrics. And I, I, lo I love this pattern. I'm excited to have this pattern. I think I, I, I mean, I'd have to double check, but I think I might have bought this pattern. <laughs> I think I have this pattern. Um, I think I have it PDF. Um, but that just means I obviously like the pattern um, because I don't really, I mean, I do buy patterns, but I have to like, it has to like really stand out to me. So anyway, we got that pattern and then here is the fabric. Let me pull this out. It's gonna be kind of hard to show you just because it's kind of flopping around, but um, you see how cute it is? I love it. I think it's really great. And these, it all says um, like trick or treat, smell my feet, give me something good to eat. <laughs> Um, so fabric with words, y'all know I love that. Gosh, this is going to be difficult. I'm going to, I'm going to try to do this best I can guys. Um, but here's the second fabric. This is really hard. I might have to try to stand up. I don't know. Let's try this. All right. So there we go. It's like a gray with bats. Oh, look how cute that one is. That's super cute. And let's see. There's the next one. Yeah, I just bought some of the the, the butter um the butterflies. Y'all listen to me. The spiders are upside down, but you get the gist. Those are little pumpkins. I know the light is so bright. Oop. And this is the trick or treat. Smell my feet. Give me something good to eat in orange. <laughs> and this is the candy print in orange and there's that one in white is that oh it's in white on the oh this is the white one with the orange print if you notice on the first one it was in black print see and then this one is in orange print that's very cute and then mummies in orange i love this one the purple with the little pumpkins on it i love purple in halloween And those are white with the little pumpkins and kitty cats. And that's really cute. Eek, I'm trying to get it. Uh, this is the gray mummy. And there's that print in white. I don't remember if it was in white in the beginning or what. 
Um, there's the candy in white. This is a candy toss in purple. This is the spiders in gray. And that one's going the correct way. So now you can see the way that the spiders go. And I will definitely tell you guys what this fabric line is. Um, I'll check on it online because literally I just bought some of this today. And there we go. There's the bats. Oh, it's all coming out. Okay, I'm just going to like lay it down somewhere because it's all falling out of the thing. Um, so I'll just, <laughs> I'll just let it fall. I'm not even worried about Jelly Bean being there because, you know, everything in here, it has cat fur all over it anyway. This is the gray one with the words. I'm glad I got to see this in person because I wasn't sure. I mean, I already bought it, don't get me wrong, but this one is, it's sort of a grayish white. That one's orange. Oh, I like it. This is, I love this print. I think it's just super cute. And this is the dark uh, gray with the mummy. I don't know if, that, if it helps for you to get closer. Not really. Okay. Sorry about that, guys. Um, this is orange with bats. I know the super uh, bright Hollywood light does, does this fabric no favors, but uh, white with the little orange pumpkins. Purple with the mummies. Purple with the bats. This is gray again with the uh, pumpkins and kitty cats. I love that. <laughs> this is black with uh, the pumpkins. Oh, I can't get in there. It's like they're not even. <laughs> and this is gray with bats. This is the black with spiders. And this is that uh, print in purple that I really like. And this is again the uh, lighter gray in with the mummies. And white with pumpkins and kitties. Purple with pumpkins. And this is the, the white with the orange print. This is orange candy again. This is the orange with white print, gray with bats and the uh, moon and everything. I love that. And finally, another one of these uh, prints in orange. Okay, so I'm going to make this all pretty pretty in a minute. <laughs> um, uh, okay, Jelly Bean is full of little tifrons from the fabric. It's okay, but mommy will give you a nice little comb in a minute, okay? Usually your hair is on the fabric. Now the fabric's on you. <laughs> I've got little fabric things all over me too. Okay, so honestly, guys, I I love her boxes. I think she's doing a great job. Um, I mean, you can't go wrong almost with Halloween. But my suggestion would be to her um, to just put a little list in there that tells us what fabric line she's using and um, maybe just a little short list. It doesn't even have to be anything fancy, but just a little short list that we know what's in the box and um, and it just kind of gives us a little bit of info. So I'd love to know what you guys think. Let me know down below and I'm sure she'll be checking this out and I'll see you guys in the next video. I'll see you later. Mwah. <laughs>